A video footage has been released, showing the Ukrainian drone strike on Morozovsk military airfield in Russia's Rostov region. The video circulated on Telegram app on Monday shows strong explosion, followed by fire. Morozovsk airfield was hit by Ukrainian drones on Saturday, August 3. A Russian Su-34 fighter jet and a warehouse housing aircraft weapons were destroyed in the attack. Some 40 drones were launched at the facility. 18 of them reached their target and the rest were suppressed by Russian air forces, according to media reports. An air traffic control center was also hit during the attack that was carried out on the flight control point. The airfield's engineering equipment were slightly damaged. Russian specialists have developed a doomsday first-person view FPV drone for monitoring background radiation and ensuring the security of personnel in the event of nuclear attacks. The CEO of Russian Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Developer Center for Integrated Unmanned Solutions, Dmitry Kuzyakin, told TASS, I am confident that common sense will prevail and the world will refrain from using nuclear weapons and our doomsday drone will never be needed. And yet we believe that it would be a crime not to prepare for even the worst scenarios. Our specialists have developed a doomsday drone for monitoring background radiation and ensuring the security of personnel as part of the Krust project, he said. According to him, it is a small drone that can be stowed compactly along with ground-based equipment. The flight time of the doomsday drone is up to 20 minutes in the active maneuvering mode. The range of operation depends on the terrain and the condition of signal passage, ranging between 500 meters and 2 kilometers, Kuzyakin explained. To date, the Center for Integrated Unmanned Solutions has developed and brought to fruition more than 20 scenarios. These include, for example, conducting assault operations in urban environments and buildings for counter-terrorist activities or operating from armored vehicles, he said. We have yet to explore more of the FPV industry. The Krust program and the Doomsday Drone are not the only areas of work for the Center in the combat use of FPV drones that is new to everyone. We are only starting off in this field, Kuzyakin concluded. First-person view drones are becoming instrumental weapons of war, particularly in Ukraine. Russian military personnel deployed in Ukraine requested such a capability after registering significant losses of combat vehicles through FPV drones. Defense Minister Andriy Belusov recently announced that approximately 4,000 FPV drones are being manufactured daily, translating to about 167 drones per hour.